Hi. This is Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. It's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up, home skillet biscuit? And happy Saturday. If you don't know what Saturday is, it's when we look at some movies, all right? Sometimes I'll put on makeup, but for the next two weeks, we're not doing it. The year's coming to an end, and I'm very caffeinated. Let's go. Let's bring the Christmas spirit in. Quick updates before we get into it. I have my nose ring back. I am reborn. I got banned from PSN because I said the N word. <laughs> As an inward, and I'm banned for seven days, so that's fun. Also, I love your customer service. They literally said, um, what? Kept me on the fing line for 30 minutes just to say, well, we sent you an email, so so thank you for that. This is Chibi. Hi! And today we're doing another of the highly requested uh, series of bringing Chibi to watch holiday movies for me for Christmas. Roll off the tongue title. Uh, and for the next two weeks, that's what we're doing because we're pre-filming, baby. Look at us being proactive. Before we get started on that, let's send it over to Admiral Kenny, Bills and all that. Yay. Because you have a baby to provide for now. I'm going to be an auntie. She's going to be an auntie. Anyway, send it over to Admiral Kenny. Hello everyone, it's Admiral Kenny, and today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit delivery service that offers you quick, delicious, and healthy meals delivered straight to the comfort of your own home. You know the drill, pre-portioned, delicious, unique, interesting to make meals, and they're usually done in under 30 minutes, and they're always bangers. I had like a cabbage pork bowl, sweet and sour type situation, banger. It was very, very good. It's a great way to try out new recipes, get out of recipe ruts. I think it also makes me a better cook in general. Ever since I've kind of noticed the patterns of what makes a good food, I be buffing in the kitchen, I be doing it. It saves you time, it saves you money, and allows you to go to the grocery store fewer times out of the week, which is always a plus to me. Um, well, I like the snack aisle, but as far as like buying stuff like just a random vegetable or like getting a seasoning that you need for this specific recipe, annoying. It's a great way to try out new things. Feel free to look at any of like the different types of meals, vegetarian, calorie smart, carb smart, whatever. Every once in a while when I want to switch it up, I'll switch over to vegetarian just because it's you know, spicy and change up your protein sources. I like edamame. They had like an edamame fritters or whatever. Fire. I put them in the air fryer. I don't think you were supposed to do that, but it came out good. So if you would like to check out HelloFresh, they're doing a promotion right now that if you go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kenny18, you can get 18 free meals plus free shipping. So big thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on to the debauchery. Last week when we were here, we talked about Fat Man, the story of a man who is played by Mel Gibson, who was also supposed to be Santa, who gets a hit put on him by a 12 year old boy who was very upset that he had gotten coal for Christmas. Shockingly, not as interesting as it sounds. And hopefully um, if we get that script again, we can redo it and have less Mel Gibson. So if you wanna check that out, that'll be linked up above, or you can check it out in the Bad Movies and Beat playlist. And this week, yeah. we're watching a movie that Chibi recommended referred to as The Princess Switch. It's a movie with Vanessa Hudgens, Sam Palladio. Pal 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 Palladio? Pal Cause I wanna say, like, is it Spanish? Am I supposed to ya yeah it? Palladio? I think he's just a white man. The Princess Switch is a 2018 movie that is the beginning of a very long going uh, series of movies that unfortunately we won't be getting to this year. But I'm curious how this will go considering, <laughs> considering they kept making more movies. I'm, <laughs> I'm just so curious like why, when a down to earth Chicago baker and a soon to be princess <laughs> discover they look like twins, they hatch a Christmas time plan to trade places. So before we get started, last time Chibi was here, this is gonna be a reaction video by the way. But if you recall last time we were here, we were discussing some like very quintessential Christmas time holiday movie Hallmark-esque tropes, uh, of which we've created a list. Created somewhat of a calendar, bingo, if you will, list of things. We're gonna see how many of the tropes come up in the film. Give it a holiday trope score for how Christmas cliche it truly is. Those things include, but are not limited to, swapping places as if people wouldn't notice, long lost siblings, one black supporting character, we don't have enough money for Christmas this year, snowball fight, jingle bell rock, I can't love you, out of touch main character, small biracial child with curly hair, <laughs> prince or a princess, <laughs> have to save the lodge, Christmas shopping montage. If you're playing it as bingo, <laughs> 
your free space card is dead parents slash spouse. It's not Christmas unless somebody's dead. Probably the mom of color who gave birth to the <laughs> biracial girl here, child. It's probably dead. Have to save Christmas, Christmas music remix, a sleigh ride, Santa in disguise or plain sight, rich people doing poor people shit. I wish for you to fall in love. This one needs a little context. It's usually the child or the parent of the main character, like the grandma or somebody who's like, I just want you to get over the death of your spouse. Essentially, I, I want you to fall in love. No matter it was <laughs> yeah yeah it could be literally three months ago it's like move on forgetting someone you just met a race to stop a person from leaving often going to an airport or getting married memory loss slash dementia snow globe love interest is a saint in the community and evil mother-in-law so those are our five by five 25 things that we're looking for trope wise and we'll see how many points that this movie particularly will get actually let's do a netflix party and we are going to let people come and watch it with us. Follow me on Twitter if you ever want the links. Oh, I'm just so hyper aware of all the caffeine I drink now ever since that TikTok. Apparently, the average coffee I drink from Starbucks, like one and a half times the amount of caffeine that she had and it scared her. Well, not that's not true. In one drink, it scared her, but she was drinking four of them. So I'm surprised she didn't have a whole like cardiac arrest. I'm surprised I haven't died yet, honestly. You were doing that like pre-workout. Pre-workout and espresso. And then like, why am I up in the middle of the night having a panic attack and listening to Bo Burnham? I was like, yeah, when I stopped working out, my mental health got way better. And it's like, is it perhaps because you are on crack, ma'am? Is it perhaps because you are literally tweaking? May I suggest that it's not really your mental health that was at stake, but the amount of caffeine. It's probably both. And it's always when your mental health is better when people want to be like hey you know you were on my mind <laughs> my future yeah this virus is crazy it really got me thinking about how i was infected by your love <laughs> and <laughs> i hope you've been good blah 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 I'm like ah, ah. so stupid <laughs> just so i'm over here using tapatio on my food and i was like damn i remember when she used to spice up my life <laughs> Let's start the movie, everybody. The Princess Switch, 2018. I'm so excited for this mess. It's been a while, so I don't remember anything. But look, she's in a bakery. Was the bakery one? No, it wasn't, but they always have Christmas cookies of some kind. Oh, yeah. I count that as a, a bonus, yeah. Dad! Ah! 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 Well, we don't know if she's biracial. She we could- We don't know if she's biracial. She does have curly hair, though. Is that like a half point then? I guess so. It's gonna have to be. Half point. But she is a black supporting actor. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's a point. Maybe it's time to move on. He got some yeah. good eyebrows. He fine as <laughs> Are we gonna acknowledge that's that? That's what I'm saying. But she don't even see that. She's like, oh, that's my best friend. Someone said it's giving Becoming Obama the memoir. Right? <laughs> Okay, so baking competition. She's gonna enter a baking competition um, and she doesn't know whether or not she should do it. Huh? Oh, that's her ex-boyfriend. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Stacey DeNovo. I'm sure Paul mentioned me. Actually, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Was he supposed to? <laughs> they dated for three years and he didn't mention her? <laughs> do you have any plans for Christmas? Yeah, big plans. Super huge. Like what? I will be competing at a baking contest in Belgravia. Imagine getting in a, con a competition to make that jealous. At one point in my life, I would have done it. Or no, I would have considered it, but that's also a lot of work. And then I'd remember, why are we doing this for men? Because my knee jerk would be like, oh, <laughs> I have things to do. Or you could just actually do the important things that you have to do. Oh, is the old man supposed to be Santa? I think he is. Oh. I can't remember. So let's do a tentative one point for Santa in the wild. We could even get some stockings for the so fireplace. Fine. He's so fine. He's Only so thing fine. is, and we gonna say it because it's always my thing I have to say, he needs what? <laughs> oh my God. Most men need it, okay? He doesn't need it though. He's fine without it, which is a rare breed that looks okay without facial hair. Look at his profile. That man is an Adonis. <laughs> we supposed to just run, oh yeah, Christmas tidings. I want to smash. He would make me consider actually dating a man with kids. I mean, hey. I'd consider it. She, go, I mean, she go to school eight hours a day and she got a mama. No, I think her mama is dead or something like that. 
Are we sure about that? Can we give her a, a dead mama free pass? I'm waiting for the conflict. Because they're going to have a conflict. They mm -hmm. always have a conflict. That's probably when the dead mom's going to be brought up. She's going to be like, damn, how do I catch a strike? I'm over here cozy in a casket. Hey, slow down! Would you watch where you're going? Oh, is it Jennifer Lopez? And go play <laughs> Billy Bobby Brown. Allegedly. According to random people online. So maybe that didn't happen. But it's a funny story. It's an incredibly funny story. If it did or didn't happen. Just hilarious. Oh my god. He's so fine. Look how look how soft his hair looked. I don't like those shoes. Uh Okay, twins. I have notes about the outfit. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's just a lot. I wouldn't go with the pearls because it's a detailed neckline. You don't need that. I don't like the pink of the purse. Oh. Why I would eat. Did she bow like that? <laughs> <laughs> she bowed like her back hurt. It really isn't necessary. It really isn't necessary. Sound like Sean Connery. Yo, this baby is so funny to me because all she do is dance and everybody just be ignoring her. I really wish you and Stacy were a thing. Oh, we need a mommy for Christmas. Daddy, I want a mommy. So what's up in the car? Stacy, I think we were destined to run into each other. I'm supposed to marry Prince Edward on New Year's Day, but I don't know anything about the people here. I want to be you. It'd only be for two days. No one would even notice. Oh, there we go. Switching places as if no one would notice. Oh, oh, yep. There we go. Yep. Oh, oh. Will this be like a rich woman doing poor people shit thing? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Does he happen to have one of those fancy limousines? I believe so. Why do you ask? Because he almost ran me off the road! There is Kevin. Hmm. And... Don't worry, she living in her man. Exactly. As she should be. Right, cause you ain't gonna make- Cause if you- huh, Sit on your hands. Right. And I will sit on him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a shot. I just realized she cut her hair. Oh my god, what? She cut her hair for a hoax? Yes, for two, for like three days. Wait, she's gonna fall in love with her actual fiance? <laughs> that just almost ran her over? Please do come in. Yeah. I wish I would curtsy for my husband. <laughs> Is there a problem with the, with the sofa? No, 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 not at all. You seem to keep staring at it. I, I, I have a lazy eye. Oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what? I'm just, when I, just, I get fatigued. <laughs> Jackass. That's crazy how he forgot he almost killed a person earlier. It's a regular occurrence. I'm sure J-Lo doesn't mentally take note of everything. <laughs> Allegedly. However, if that is a thing, Millie Bobby Brown has every right to sue her ass if it did happen. God, he fine. Jesus. And there are a lot of sights to see. Oh, 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 it's a different person. Oh, wow, I forgot. She's like, wow, he fine as f He do look like Obama. <laughs> he do look like Obama. All Americans, we are hosting a baking competition. Oh, my God. Hello, Americans. Me, me and Michelle are... The dear girl has been through so much already. Losing both her parents. Dead parents. Dead parents. Did I already take note of that? Well, at least another one. These are the hats my dad was trying to buy me when I said I wanted a, just like a winter hat for Christmas. He was giving me dead ass. He sent me pictures of like a red church hat. Like I was Carmen San Diego. And I what is with her and her like, like rebellion against shades of pink that belong together? Like, what is it? Like, She's like, let me go with the bluest pink blazer and then a peach dress, peach pink dress. Real it's she ugly. Down like a she hmm. down like a Sims. Did you see her? <laughs> this movie is always interesting to me because there's a whole lot of dialogue with no substance. Because what are we talking about? I love how someone's like, I'm lost. Is this the first one? I was going to say, am I lost just because we've been making jokes the whole time and talking over it? But no, sure. people that people <laughs> who's just watching it straight through are like, what? You know who he looked like? He looked like Splinter. Who is he? Splinter from No, I know who Splinter is. No, who is he in the movie? He's like the butler guy. Wait, let me double check. You don't have- Yeah, he looked like Splinter. Mm. Yeah, right. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh,
like how slow that shit down. Like, oh wait, he saw her as if he's never seen her before. This is the same person, but I just see in a new light now. Give an old Navy commercial. Why? Her slow walk in. <laughs> Winter sale, buy one, get one 50% off. Girl, why do you have a crush on him? He nearly ran you over. Why? There's no chemistry between them. Someone just said the green screen in the background. I didn't even- Oh shit, it's the same green screen from Fallen for Christmas. It it's the exact same green screen. <laughs> Someone said I went to the store, came back, and I truly feel like I've missed nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. Hey there, princess. Uh-oh. Little baby found out. She's gonna kill her and sneak away to freedom with Barack's. And let's forget about that. Oh my god. It's like oh. he's sculpting. Oh, splinter. Stop calling him that. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't do nothing to deserve that. Please need to go to the kitchen. She said, get your maid bitch ass on. <laughs> maid? You should have your maid outfit. Hey, maid. I see you got on your maid outfit like you always do. <laughs> <laughs> it's been passed down from generation to generation for over 300 years. 300 years? So y'all own slaves is what I heard. Yep. Colonialism. You want to see who made this beautiful house? Slaves. Yeah. I think my period just started. Oh no. Oh. Not in the middle of the movie. <laughs> Everybody continue to watch. Entertain the people, GB. I'm back, and yes, I was correct. Little Paul, the man who broke your heart. Right. I think it's time for me to get over, Paul. <laughs> she said. <laughs> she said. Sure, Barack, we can find another. Ooh. Okay, better. Yeah, better. What the hell? Do you hear that? Yeah. Is that, is that your house? Uh. Okay, so it's definitely my apartment's fire alarm. Oh. Oh, now I want to stop. Wow. I, I just, okay, in the time that I had the chaos brewing, did they, did they do anything to explain why they're in love? No, they played a piano. They played parallel the bells together. That was it. Wow. At least with the other ones, like, you know, there's some kind of chemistry. They have none. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Everything okay? No, you fine. <laughs> <laughs> he got some big old titties. You right. He got some big old tits. Big old... Put my, put my face in the milky. How do you know, Shane? It's you, the reason for you the You whore! Put your titties, put your titties <laughs> away! <laughs> Oh, she's wearing a color other than. This is cute. Oh, praise God. This, this is, is cute. cute. I like this. Yeah. Where are the presents? We don't have the budget for presents. Budget? We don't have the budget. We don't have the budget. We got the princess coming in, but she can't lend us all of them. Has been coming every year before she even showed up. And they're still broke. <laughs> Walk in in red bottoms. I hope you broke orphans get something one day. And you're a princess in your heart. But not in any of the monetary ways that it matters. It's a family shelter. Family shelter that they go to read a book but can't lend a doll. Open your purse. Main character. I had a touch with reality. Ah, yes. You don't know what Twister is? Whole mic. Whole mic just. Ah. Why do they always have to make the kids in the shelter look poor? Like, damn. You know T-shirt? I'm going to make it a tradition to come here once a month and get to know you all. Get to know to open your purse. It don't matter if you know us. Who cares? Oh, mistletoe. That's another one we should have wrote down. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. He said, he said, mm, okay. Karen and I weren't meant to be. Oh, they're divorced. Oh, they got divorced. Not dead for once. Oh, wow. The whole. Vein showing up in his arms a while. I would take it to the hilt. 
was dead. Why did I think the mom was dead? We all thought. The we mom all was thought dead. the mom was dead. Okay, she usually is. A Netflix plug once again. In the movie. Oh, that's oh, no. nice. That's cute. Kiss. Kiss. Do it for me. <laughs> These last few days, I I feel like it could be more. Oh. We just pretend this never happened. No! What? No! Not Sabbath. I forgot there. Girl, I don't forgot this whole time there was a bacon competition. He's one in a million. No, Edward is the one who. Let's switch. Let's switch. Let's switch. Is it really you? It's really me. Don't be. <laughs> she was like, oh, I guess. Oh, we're finally having that competition we were supposed to be having. Would you be a dove and take my place with Margaret at the baking competition today? Why would she do that? Because she knows. I know you know, but why would you do that? It's a public spectacle. You are a bad royal, bitch. You are a bad royal. You're supposed to be messy behind the scenes. Kevin? She didn't notice after making several cakes at this point. How'd you do the first two cakes without the mixer? There's something I need to tell you first. The woman you love is not me. It's about truth and honor. <laughs> what was that accent? No, no, no. <laughs> the woman you love is not me, babes. It's, it's actually quite not. <laughs> about this baking competition and they only showed a total of it's been 38 seconds and they <laughs> stacy denova of chicago usa welcome is prince edward of belgravia and his fiance duchess margaret of montanaro no what let's start wait back up nobody else noticed that she looks exactly like the princess no one's brought up to her if she was coming to the event that hey you look a lot like her wow that's crazy and she's coming to the event to be <laughs> i found out i'm just a normal girl and normal girls they fall in love with normal boys <laughs> i was gonna say she called you just average enough <laughs> Wait, please, stop. Edward, you can't be in love with me. Can't be in love with me. Oh my God, he's proposing. Oh my God, he's proposing. Oh no. <laughs> and that's the fucking movie, Jesus Christ. Only checked once and I don't, I'm not watching this movie again to see clearer numbers. We have 11. With that said, I don't know if that makes it better or worse the higher the number goes up. It got 11 out of 25 Hallmark cliche points. So. Which is an F. <laughs> well, it makes it 44% cliche. So round of applause for what is this movie even called? I forgot already. For the Princess Switch. What was this movie? Like <laughs> it was a way to make content close to Christmas. <laughs> but that's all for today, folks. Uh if you like this video, feel free to like this video. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD. GB, do you want anybody to know your socials? C-H-I-B-I-C-H-E-E-Z. -E -E if you have other bad movies you think I should check out, put those down in the comment section, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.